Hey girls, welcome back. I know it's been a while. I am so excited to be back though, and I'm so excited to kick off this um, return, if you will, with something a little bit different for me. I'm gonna go ahead and start doing favorites videos. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do them monthly. I don't know if I'll just go ahead and maybe do them quarterly, but I will do favorites videos because there's so it's so often that I come across something and I start using it and I'm, I fall in love with it and I will make it a part of my routine or a staple in my routine and um, I forget to mention it to you guys and so this is a great way to kind of keep you guys abreast, abreast to what I enjoy using and things that I find along the way that you too might enjoy if you ever decide to give it a try. So let's go ahead and jump right in. In honor of this being our head, having being a beauty channel, but starting off specifically having to do with hair, we're gonna talk about two hair products that I have been loving this, what, last several months. Um, one of them is a oldie but goodie that I kind of stopped using for a while and now start using again and really fall back in love with it. Like, where were you all my life? Where have you been the last year? Anyway, so one of the products that this product is brand spanking new to me. Um, I discovered it when I was just aisle shopping, as I call it, at TJ Maxx. And um, after I got my hair colored this last time, which is about probably two months ago, maybe two and a half, almost three months now, I got my hair recolored and I decided that I really need to start finding a color, a shampoo for color treated hair. I came across this one, Amika. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but the label got me. I'm a sucker for packaging, right? Marketing works. It has the coolest kaleidoscope kind of crazy packaging, and I really like it. Um, it says an antioxidant packed shampoo to fiercely protect color against fading while enhancing hair's overall health. Like I said, I got my hair done almost three months ago now, the color, um, and it is as vibrant as it was when I got it done. Normally, about three months in, I start noticing the colors fading drastically, and then I start thinking, oh, I can't wait to get my hair recolored. Well, I am so glad I decided to invest in a shampoo for color-treated hair. This is doing great, and this is a big bottle. I think normally this runs for about $30, and I got it for $20 at TJ Maxx. So great size bottle. This is a one liter, 32 ounce bottle. The conditioner that I've been loving is an Ulti Book Goodie, as I mentioned earlier. It's the Trader Joe's Nourish and Spa conditioner this is a bomb.com conditioner i love it so much because you get so many uses out of it you can deep condition it with it deep condition it deep condition with it if you need it to adding a little bit of oil to it maybe it would give you a really good pack of uh, additional moisture in your strands but i just love to detangle my hair with it and it's what i did to detangle my hair i always leave a little bit in when i rinse it out I mean, I deep conditioned on top of this with something different, but this is so really good, guys. I really, really enjoy this, and I'm so glad that I rediscovered it. It's $2.99. You cannot beat the price. Next, I'm going to go into skincare, and I really have been wanting to try the Clinique uh, Take the Day Off, but it is like $30 for the jar. I don't know how big the jar is. I don't know if it's worth the money, but I wanted to try something that would give give me that creamy type consistency but be able to remove my makeup and so um i was researching and looking around and i found or rediscovered rather because i remember my mom used to use this on her skin back in the day and i'm sure your mom might have used it too okay this is the pond cold cream clean, uh, cleanser there's two different ones a blue cap and then there's a seafoam green i picked this one up it is four dollars and 99 cents i think i got this at target and it works well now i don't i can't say that it works better or just as good as the um take off the day from clinique because i haven't tried it but this is one of my favorite ways to take makeup off and i find that i don't even need makeup wipe remove makeup wipe removers anymore that i just go in with this you don't need a lot and my husband freaking loves it also because he washes his face with it so this is a staple guys i'm fall i have fallen in love with it Next on my list is a, another cult favorite. You will hear about it all throughout the uh, beauty world and um, YouTube land. It is the Glam Glow uh, Mud Mask. This is the Super Mud Mask. This is a clearing treatment mask. 
I have struggled with acne since uh, I had my oldest daughter, so that's almost 13 years ago. This is a game changer. My skin has improved so much. This was a free gift for me from Sephora, um, and it is amazing. Like, I'm going to be purchasing the full size of this because it is worth the money. This is like good, good stuff. Like, I love it. So, wanted to show you guys this. Let me know if you've ever tried it before and what you thought of it. Next is the, let's see, MP Mint Pearl. And this is, I got it in my Ipsy bag. Sometimes you get the coolest things in these beauty bags, guys. Things that you would never hear of or ever try on your own. And this is the Rose Hip Night Serum. It's all natural, pure, and organic. And it just has a bunch of oils in it. Smells really good, but it is really nice. And I usually just go on top of it with my, night, my nighttime moisturizer. Love it. Of course, I could not do this video and not not have makeup right involved in this in some kind of way I gotta do some makeup want to talk to you about one of my absolute favorite palettes this palette ever since i purchased it i think i got it when it first launched but since then it has been my favorite and i think it's only been launched for about five to six months guys this is the jaclyn hill palette from morphe it is a white palette like the packaging it's cardboard but it's all white so it's really hard for you to see you're gonna be Hard. It's going to be hard for you to see. It has all the colors listed on the back. And then when you pop it open, this is what you see. Freaking love these. I can go on and 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 on about these. I love these. Oh, this is one of my favorite hands down ever palettes. Really good um, palette. In my Ipsy bag, like I said, you get the coolest products sometimes. And I got this banana setting powder from the brand... BP. Super cute, little packaging, very basic, but it does not have talc in it. it does, and I really love this. It is so finely milled. If you're not careful, it can get into your eyes. So just kind of make sure you, you ever just, if you ever try it, to keep that in mind. But this is one of the most finely milled powders I've ever used. It is such a cute little container. It's just enough. It has a little speck, little bits of specks of, um, not glitter, but just some type of um, light reflecting properties is the word, the words I'm looking for. So when you set your under eye, it's not matte, it doesn't get cakey. I just really love this and it has a yellow um, tint to it, so it works very well on my skin tone. Next is a favorite mascara of mine. This is the CoverGirl, the Super Sizer Fibers Lash Mascara. I go to this every single time. It's more of a lengthener for me than it is a volumizer. I think that's to what it's supposed to be. Um, but if I ever want volume, like I have it on today, and I just love it. It's a great everyday mascara. If you are familiar with my channel, you know I am not a falsies person. I don't wear falsies. This is a great mascara though. And if I want to build up my lashes, I cocktail them by using a lengthener and a volumizer. And I just keep going back and forth, back and forth until I get the desired look but this is like hands down one of my favorites i will be mentioning this when i do a haul video that i have for you guys and this is the bite beauty agave lip mask and it's in this cute little tube this is a smaller one because i bought a trio with three of them in there this is in the uh, shade maple it is just these are amazing guys they are nice and thick not nasty and cakey feeling like the mac ones that used to be also popular Definitely they glide on the lips, they taste good, great ingredients. I love these. Another skincare product, I actually forgot to mention this one earlier. It's also by Glam Glow. This is the Thirsty Mud Hydrating Mask. I have been loving this. I got this actually, I might have got this one from Sephora also. Awesome, Lo love it. The way that I use it is I'll put it on my face after clean fully cleansing my face, making sure no makeup, no traces of dirt and oil. And then I'll go over it with that mask. Once the mask sits on my face for about 20, 25 minutes, even 30, I just let my skin soak it up. You can wipe your face down after, like just take a warm cloth, wipe it off rather than rinsing it off with water. But I actually just go ahead and leave it on. And then after 20, 30 minutes of letting my skin just absorb it, I'll go on top of it with um, like this mint pearl or mint pear excuse me um 
oil and my skin the next day feels like a baby's bottom it's so hydrated and it feels so good next up on my favorites list i have an eyeshadow the bomb cosmetics this is nude beach this is like the prettiest freaking eyeshadow shade ever it is the perfect shade for somebody in my complexion I hope you guys get a little good glimpse of how gorgeous this shade is. It is so pretty. I find myself reaching for it every single time I get ready to do my eyes. Like every time, every time. This is the cutest shade ever. Next up on the list, I have two lippies. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Ashton. Isn't it pretty? It's so pretty. And then I actually got something from the Dollar Tree. It is a lipstick. It's a B matte lipstick from City Color. And it is the prettiest shade. Look at that. It's just a pretty brick red. And I love it. Let me do a quick little swatch for you. Beautiful shade. Looks amazing on. And I don't know, when I want to wear red, but I don't want to like wear red red, this is just a great shade. And it was a buck. Has really good staying power, so not bad at all for a dollar. My last makeup product is going to be um, Cover FX. And this is their matte setting powder. This is how I set my liquid foundation. I freaking love this stuff. I got it in the shade medium. It's great. That's all I can say. It's just great. So in case you're wondering, since I featured two powder or two setting powders, I use the BP banana powder under my eye and I use the FX um, all over my face just to keep because I am combination oily and just so my makeup can sit in place all day and not move, I'll usually use that. My last product is going to be a skin or body product. Um, this one usually lives in my shower and it is from Spa Nuvo. It's the um, Arabic coffee salt scrub restore detox and stimulate this is the bomb guys I love coffee butters coffee scrubs coffee body washes they are so amazing they are stinking expensive so whenever I see them and they have a relatively decent price attached to them I usually grab as many as I can this is the bomb it smells just like coffee and like it says it's a salt scrub so it has just some, the right amount of crystals mixed with the coffee grounds to really stimulate, you know, like cleanse the skin really well and remove, build up like the um, dead skin cells that our body usually tends to hold on to. It does a, a wonderful job of removing them. I do not use this on my face. I only use this on my body. This stuff is the bomb and I usually get out of the shower feeling so soft, so clean and smelling like coffee. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this new video and let me know if you like these types of videos where you're learning a little bit about what I like and what I've been trying and I would love to hear about what you guys like and what have you been trying because that's how we learn. I get to find out some new products that I might not have even thought of before or heard of before. So please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.